Alright, this will be a really quick video, <clears throat> just following our batch preprocessing video. Uh, just to show how to use image integration. Alright, so uh, after you use batch preprocessing, you're going to come over to your files and you have your registered images. You'll just pick your registered images, grab all of them, throw them in there. If you have, if you did generate drizzle data, um, you can add those drizzle files. Uh, and they're the ones with the .drz. If you do add drizzle files, those are the only ones that'll show up is .drz, uh, and those are the ones you choose. Um, and so those will go, and these Ds next to them mean that that these files have drizzle files associated with them. Uh, <coughs> and then, <coughs> yeah, so you have your, you want to make sure this is clicked, um, this is checked, because you're adding drizzle files. Um, and that'll allow you to, basically, uh, somebody might be able to explain this better and maybe somebody out there who knows exactly what drizzling does uh, is probably saying that I'm an idiot in explaining this but drizzling is extrapolating around a pixel what it thinks should be there it's gonna basically make your picture twice the size and but with twice the pixels so it's guessing what should be there based on surrounding data um, and that's how it's making your picture bigger, um, which is beneficial with monochrome images because then you can edit it and then resize it back down and it just makes things look really good. So that's why you'd want to drizzle. Anyway, so as far as uh, pixel rejection, uh, you're going to choose Winsorized Sigma Clipping. Remember, you got to have more than eight to do that. It'll give you a warning. I mean, you can do it with less than eight, but it'll give you a warning. Um, but, but yeah, so Winsorized Sigma Clipping. And that's really all you do. Uh, and then you, you don't really have to mess around with these sigma low, sigma high. You can if you want, if you want to see what they do. And it'll even give you a, you just hold your mouse and it'll explain what it's doing. Um, but basically, uh, for general use, you don't really need to do too much more than that. And then you'll just uh, hit this apply global. And then it starts going. Uh, these are all retrieved from the cache because... Uh, it remembers it from when you did it in the batch preprocessing. And the only reason you're doing it uh, with the image integration is uh, I just have noticed that uh, the pixel rejection algorithm is better on this image integration. I seem to see less noise when I use image integration. Also, I can just add these drizzle files just a lot easier. Uh, all right. So we'll look at this. It look, I don't know if you remember from the other video, but this is a lot more being rejected, a lot more noise being rejected, which is really nice. All right, and so here's our final image. We'll uh, rotate this again. All right, there's the final image. All right, and then the next, uh, well, uh, I guess I could just do it in this video. We'll just show you how to drizzle this real quick because it's really easy to do. Um, all right, so you're just going to open up processes uh, and then you're going to go to drizzle integration here and opened off screen. Okay, and then you'll just add those drizzle files uh, right here. And you'll know you'll know that they're the files that go in here because they actually have data. Uh, the other ones, when you did batch preprocessing, they're all one kilobyte. There's no data, um, but now there's data written to these files, so they can be ac extrapolated using this tool. So you'll just apply those. Everything else is good scale too, and then you'll just click global, and then it'll go. All right, <coughs> we just finished here with the drizzle integration. And then this comes up. Remember, you want to save this file because this isn't saved anywhere. This is just uh, in an open view. So save this. Uh, that way, if PixInsight crashes or something happens, because it, I mean, it happens. It's happened to me a couple of times and it's really frustrating. Uh, yeah, you just save that and, and then you're good to go. You have a, a drizzle integrated images image. So here we'll compare these so you can actually see what happened here when we drizzled our image. Um, let me just rotate this so we have the same orientation as our other image. And we'll close this. Okay, 
So let's see. Let's find a good star here that we can zoom in on. Well, let's do this big star over here. Okay, so as I zoom in here, you can start to see the pixels. Now, if we zoom in here, the pixels. I don't know. I don't know if uh, you can see this on your screen, but the uh, pixels are noticeably smaller on our drizzled image. And that's because there's more of them. The picture's bigger. That's basically what drizzling is doing. Okay.